When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. Hey everybody, Jerry Williams, aka Greater Sapien here. Thanks for stopping by. Today we look at number 59 of Eric Dubay's 200 Proofs, Earth is Not a Spinning Ball. Dubay says, Quoting Gabrielle Henriette, the theory of the rotation of the Earth may once and for all be definitely disposed of as impracticable by pointing out the following inadvertence. It is said that the rotation takes 24 hours and that its speed is uniform, in which case, necessarily, days and nights should have an identical duration of 12 hours each all year round. The sun should invariably rise in the morning and set in the evening at the same hours, with the result that it would be the equinox every day from the 1st of January to the 31st of December. One should stop and reflect on this before saying that the Earth has a movement of rotation. How does the system of gravitation account for the seasonal variations in the lengths of days and nights if the Earth rotates at a uniform speed in 24 hours? Now, I'd never heard of this Gabrielle Henriette, but now Dubé has quoted her twice, and both times it was idiotic. This is yet another person who doesn't have a grasp of the actual globe solar system model and doesn't understand how a simple thing as tilting the globe on its axis will change the length of daytime and nighttime around the world. It looks like this Henriette was writing in the late 1950s and 60s, so there's really no excuse for her to not know what the globe solar system model is. This makes four claims in a row that were grounded in ignorance of or disinformation about the basic facts of the globe model. This isn't a philosophical disagreement. This is just lying and made even more pathetic by Dubé reaching back to a hack flat earther from 60 years ago as a reference. Okay, maybe I'm being too harsh on Gabrielle. Let's check out who this person who Dubé holds so highly is. Gabrielle Henriette was a French-born proponent of a flat earth theory, specifically one that posited that the flat earth is not suspended in space, but resting on the floor of a steep pyramidal vault, the walls of which are constructed of a bright metallic material with meteorites giving evidence of composition and upon which are luminous, transparent disks that we take for planets. Huh. That's my job! That's what I do! I don't lose! I win! I win! Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me. 